Hi there. Today, I'm a happy guy. Yep, I'm a happy guy. Why? Because of this. <laughs> we got our hands on this thing finally. I announced it on Facebook. Uh, this was supposed to be a loner at first. Uh, we kind of fell in love with it to a point that we bought it. Yep. So this is the Scrambler XP1000S uh, for 2020. Uh, this is a uh, <laughs> this is an ATV on steroids. Simple as that. Check out the stance on this thing. 55 inches wide. Who would have think they would done it? They would have done it at Polaris. Well, they did it, <laughs> and I'm quite happy. It has this uh, bigger brother, or smaller brother, little brother, which is called a Sportsman 1000, uh, XP 1000 S2. But it's uh, it's clad in the the classic Sportsman body. Essentially, these machines are the same. So, uh, engine-wise, we uh, we have the parallel twin uh, from the Scrambler, the original Scrambler which is a pro star a pro star engine mated to a transverse uh, tra a transmission a longitudinal transmission mated to a cvt and the cvt i was told was from the rzr family i think it was the first gen uh, turbo s and the drive uh, to continue on the drivetrain this is like 80 89 horsepower i think uh, made it to a huge differential in the back and I was told this is from the same family the RZR family and the unit the front differential unit from a uh, another Turbo S otherwise all heavy-duty components and check out these arched A arms up front Wow and it's riding on Walker Evans fully adjustable suspension with drill springs. So it's got compression and damping adjustment. Uh, it's a high speed, low speed up, up high here. And then uh, down here there's a screw to do the rebound. Now what's, what's all the hype with this thing? Well. Usually, uh, if you go into a Renegade from Can Am 1000 or a Scrambler 1000, usually the wheel is going to be sitting right here. Having it this wide and stretching it out to 55 inches will give you a huge 14 inch wheel travel in the back and about 12, uh, I think it's 12.5 or 12.9 in the front, which is uh, unheard of. Thing is, I've been favoring UTVs for a few years now because I like the comfort. I'm getting old. See all the white whiskers, and uh, comfort goes first. But this, 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 all mixed together, that suspension, the 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 width of uh, 55 inches, plus the legendary. And I, I, I say legendary because this is the most comfortable sport ATV out there. Um, I'm a Can-Am guy. Don't get me wrong. I, I love I love my Can-Ams. Okay? I won't lie. But my money, if I'm buying an ATV tomorrow morning with my own dough, this is what I'm buying. I prefer the look of the Sportsman, but basically they're, they're the same bike. Now, you got 89 horsepower, you got a great CVT that, that responds very, very well. Responds very good, very good re response uh, from, from low to high, uh, you know, the, the, the shift, the shift, I don't, I don't remember the term in English, but the, the way it shifts on and takes off and also the engine braking. I like the engine braking on this one uh, simply because it's it's not as intrusive, let's say, as the product from Can Am. Uh, brakes are linked, and the brakes on this one is as strong as 
uh, eye eye popping power so <laughs> he'll pop your eyeballs out and stop so fast and this nice modular feel so uh, there's only one there's only one lever it's on the right hand side like this and it responds quite well I, I love I love the initial bite there's not too much bite but it's easy easy to modulate either up front or on the pedal from the brakes the brake pedal out back very easy to modulate it's wow <laughs> you see the face I've been riding ATVs for like 30 years <laughs> this thing is nuts and in in you know when you're driving into if you, you drive a, uh, an ATV if you ride an ATV and you ride one of the big machines the high higher cylinder machines higher powered machines when you're going into a curve and there's a rut in that curve and you're coming in way too hot and you end up with having a wheel popping up it happened to me often uh, this thing nope <laughs> it just stays planted it's on rails it goes where you point it and that's a little bit because at the same time what they did is they actually put nine inch wide tires and if you're looking correctly check this out they are not staggered it's a square if it is staggered it's very very minimal with an advantage to the front but having that square for some reason makes this thing plus the suspension travel and all this stuff makes this thing just stand out from the rest i'm i'm dead serious this is the the, the machine that i'm buying with my own money if i'm buying an atv tomorrow this actually john one of our one of our guys uh, at revco bought this one uh, sight unseen <laughs> i was I, I took delivery of it and I uh, asked him if I could review it because they're about as rare as uh, they're hard to get and they're selling at retail. Why? Because there's not many of them. There's even less of the one I prefer, which is the Sportsman, which is the same freaking bike, same unit, but uh, has a Sportsman body. I like the, the more aggressive. I find the, the, the front bezel much, much better. So this is totally stock by the way there's no accessories on it nothing has been has been added so we went engine transmission suspension steering oh steering steering the eps system on this thing for 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 some reason way back when back in 2012 13 i didn't like the uh, electronic uh, steering system the 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 dps or they call it eps it's all branding it's all electronic power steering anyway or digital power steering whatever but it's a uh, electrically assisted power steering i didn't like the ones from polaris they always felt like kind of wooden to me they they didn't have feel to the front end and what i like about this one this particular one because of its geometry and having the white the the, the wheels outside that much it's just you feel everything but the, the 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 program of the electronic power steering on this is spot on so it's variable by speed even if you grab hard this thing won't won't weave left and right it's very very precise very very direct I, i'm trying to find flaws for this thing actually because this might be the first time i actually review an atv or a utv without finding a freaking flaw in it yeah i can nitpick <laughs> nitpicking uh you'll find stuff but this is all everything's included one nice touch is that front bumper it looks a little bit um, it, it, i would love to have a little bit more of a finish on it but at least it's there so front end is protected it's not like an rzr where uh, there's you, you absolutely need to buy bumpers on it this one has a decent pretty big bumper uh, this light from pro armor comes stock from factory so you get that you get this with it lighting is awesome by the way awesome this this actually lights up like a car so you don't need you don't need that bar 
but it's always a welcome addition, especially with the way it floods out. And it's a it's a pin it's it's a pretty wide pin up front. Uh, it 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 does the job. I, I I actually like it very much. See, bare bone stock. This is very very powerful. Extremely powerful. So. That's one one of the good points of this thing. And you know how much this thing must cost if you're buying this at the dealer? Must be a couple of hundred bucks. Installed with a switch right here in the bezel. That's one thing that I appreciate a lot is that the bike has great lighting. So if you ever ride at night, you'll understand where I'm coming from with this. So. <laughs> Uh, one thing I might not like as much is these stars. They grip great. They're not. They're not half bad right now. I don't hate them per se, but uh, it, it's a bias buy. And anything that goes fast on asphalt, on on dirt roads, hard pack, and stuff like that, I prefer a radial tire. Simple as that. Uh, they'll wear better. They'll have better grip. Uh, and it's just better feel but uh to be to be honest i'm not a fan of the dura brand but these ones are doing the job and uh they're quite nice actually and uh, for once i like a duro tire so i'm not going to complain about it very very nice we talked about the brakes uh you have this that's included which looks more like a wheelie bar if you're into a motorcycle <laughs> it looks more like a wheelie bar than a bumper but at least something is there and what's missing from the original the, the 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 regular model is that twin exhaust which now is one huge can that's like around 18 inches 18 inches long about 12 inches wide and uh, six to seven inches high uh, sound out of it is pretty decent though now so performance wise it's a speed demon i haven't uh, it's still in break-in and I, I don't own the machine so i didn't push it hard uh, but reaching 100 clicks per hour 100 kilometers per hour is like a breeze it'll go to uh, i don't know I, i'd love to see it hit more than 120 125 but it's probably electronically limited but uh, when when you're dry when you're riding this thing at speed with all kinds of bumps and stuff it's stable as a rock but it's really really planted it's it's an awesome feeling trust me on this you got you guys if you if you're into sporty ATVs this you got to try you got to sit your buns on this thing because at the same time the seat this is something when I reviewed the uh, Scrambler 1000, the regular, uh, the, mo the regular model, uh, I always love the seating position and the seat itself. So when you're sitting down in this thing, it's like a couch. It's uh, really not as rough as the uh, as the Can-Am Renegade, which uh, usually you, you get the feeling you're sitting on a plank. It's it's not a really sporty feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, Imagine, imagine a very powerful SUV. That's what I think it is. Very powerful SUV. You, you, trust me, try it. I hope a dealer in your area will let you test ride it and then you'll get the feeling because this, it, it's a UTV built on an ATV. Really, really nice. So this thing is gonna cost you though because the sticker price on this thing 
is $17,999 Canadian. So that's a whole lot of money. Uh, you are getting a lot for your money, but still, 18 grand for an ATV is a whole lot of moolah, a whole lot of cash. But if you compare the, the, the performance, this thing is going to eat a, a RZR Turbo S for breakfast. It's going to spit out the pieces by the back on top speed. Uh, it's going to... It's, it's real, real fast. Trust me. So, why, the things I don't like about it, it's, this is the regular stuff, is that, that, that shifter. Oh my God, this thing, you can't figure it out when you're in gear. It's totally nuts. And if you're park, reverse, you, you can't, you, you get my drift here. <laughs> but you, it's, it's not even lined up to the letters properly. So you got to, you got to watch inside here. At least there's a gear position sensor on this thing. So, sitting on the P, so you know where it is. But you see, if you go, this is low, and it's on neutral. Might be adjustable, but I, I, find, I find, this is a nag that I've had with Polaris products for a long time. I just really, this annoys me. Uh, it's hard to shift. It's hard to know which position you are. You need that gear position to know where you're at. So I, I uh, might call it nitpicking, but hey, th that, that I hate with a freaking passion. Oh, and one thing, it might be on break-in, but it guzzles gas faster than I can drink beer. It's thirstier than I am. So, and the, the, tiny, the gas tank on it is pretty small. I, I don't know how many liters I'll, uh, I'll list it here. Uh, bring a spare gas can. One thing is that that thing has a, actually has a rack. So you can actually, uh, there's some accessories that you can find on uh, at Polaris, but you can actually hook up two uh, external gas, gas cans here. So th this, this helps out. But it guzzles gas like crazy. It should be get, should get better. Hard to find stuff I don't like about this thing. Oh, I forgot one thing. Check this out. It looks a little bit wonky, right? But this this headstock here, cool thing about it is that you can actually adjust the angle forwards and back. You can move this forwards and back depending on how how tall you are or how small you are so you can actually move the, move the the handlebars back a little bit more to this angle and move them up so you can tilt front to back fairly easy to do and it, it makes it makes it, it just makes sense i like the high bar position man I'm a Can-Am guy, I told you, right? If I have a choice between that Renegade and this one, I'm buying this. Near perfect score. The only thing missing is radio tires. The rest is just freaking awesome. So if you like what you see, you like the videos you like the stuff that we do i don't get paid this is free content i don't get sponsored i'm not sponsored by polaris i'm not sponsored by uh, any dealer for for doing this i don't get money i just get my hands on machines uh, some of them are loaned we bought this one uh, and i get to say whatever the heck i feel like uh, my experience is a, a little bit more than 33 years in the business as a as a tech as a service manager i've seen a lot of stuff over the years and in my old days, right now, because I'm in my 50s, this is what I do. I actually have fun with machines and I do this full time. So I don't, I don't have another job. I just, I'm a media guy. Uh, usually I'm much more in French, but uh, I, like, I like the English stuff. <laughs> so this is it. I'm Mark from the ATV guys. Please, if you like what we do, subscribe to my YouTube channel, the uh, ATV guys. Uh, if you want to see what we do on uh, Facebook, on our social media, you can find us on Facebook 
uh, at ATV Guys Magazine. And we also have a group that were almost 10,000 or a little bit more of 10,000. It's called a Canadian ATV UTV Nation. This is our group. And we, uh, we also have Instagram, which uh, Jason takes care of. And Instagram is ATV Guys. So join us and let's have fun with some more of these machines.